Hey fellow readers, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and I like to read dark and disturbing things, but I also like to get a lot of book mail. So today I have two unboxings for you. I have the Twisted Retreat from February and then the Abominable Book Box from March. So let's open it. <laughs> So in case you're wondering why I'm opening my February box for Twisted Retreat, it's because something happened. I kept seeing everybody get their boxes. I tried to be patient. I waited, I waited, and I finally reached out to their customer service and said, hey, did my box ever ship? And they said, oh, you know what? There was some kind of error in the computer. I don't know. But they uh, responded really quick to me and they did send it out. So that is why that is late. Unfortunately, uh, the next day I also got an email that said my March box will not be shipping until May. So <laughs> it's all, it's going to be all messed up. So you may have already seen um, the February box, but I'm going to open it up because I haven't seen everything yet. And then I just got my Abominable Book Club box for March. This month I'm very happy. It came very quickly. I got tracking. I got everything. So we're going to open this one up first because I do believe they did tell us what book was in here. And I think I've seen from others, but I didn't look at all the stuff. So let's see what we have. So I do get the full guts box. I think that's what it says. I think you can get bare bones or full guts. And the bare bones, I believe, is just the two books. Um, but if you get the full guts, you get some snacks and you get this which is a paperback like a used paperback that they pick up and they do this very cool like wax seal this must take them a really long time and this is really fun to see i'll open that last you know your girl is all about the snacks especially because they're they're snacks i can't get here in the u.s so this is six welsh cakes soft cakes with currants and sultanas. I have no idea what that is. They kind of look like little mini um, pancakes. That's exactly what they look like, mini pancakes. And if they taste like a mini pancake, I'm all about it. <clears throat> Next we have, oh, this cute patch. We all float down here, which is, I'm sure everyone knows from Stephen King's It. We have our little package of goodies. Sorry, all the little packings coming out. These are usually the same every month. They usually have a variety of tea and coffee and hot chocolate and other things. So we always get like a hot chocolate, this cappuccino packet, and this one looks different. Um, we get these coffee bags. And this one looks like it's a dark roast. So this one is different than the ones I've gotten in the past. And then my favorite part of this is that we get um, two teas by this brand Off Black, which I had never heard of before this box. And I have fallen in love with this brand of tea. And I think I'm kind of picky about tea or I don't, I don't love all teas. Let's just say that. And these I've, I've liked quite a bit. All right, we've gotten the snackage out of the way. So let's get into the books. The first is Eric LaRocca's The Trees Grew Because I Bled There. And this one says it is signed by the author. She has a very large signature. I think this is a, yeah, short story collection. So I believe I've read two two short stories by Eric LaRocca um, so far, and I've liked them both. They're very dark, they're very different, but he's not afraid to really tap into that super dark place. So um, this will be good to check out. And this book, I constantly, these two books kind of came out uh, around similar times. This is Sister Maiden Monster by Lucy Snyder. And um, I am always confusing this with head like a hole. I think they both have some kind of tentacle thing happening on the cover. So 
whatever reason I can't get them straight. So this one says, a virus tears across the globe, transforming its victims into nightmarish ways. As the world collapses, dark forces drive a small group of women together. To survive, they must evolve. Erin, once quiet and closeted, acquires an appetite for women and her brains. Why does the forbidden fruit taste so good? Savannah, a professional BDSM switch, discovers a new turn on, committing brutal murders for her eldritch masters. And Mareva, is plagued by chronic tumors, is too horrified to acknowledge her divine role in the upcoming, in the coming apocalypse as her growths multiply, so too does her desperation. This sounds freaking bizarre and pretty interesting. So I'm excited to get to that one. And then I have a few other little things kind of floating around in here. All right, so I just have the two bookmarks. So we have our monthly Abominable Book Club box, um, bookmark spookmark and then on the back has like a microfiction and then we have this bookmark which I believe is meant to be the Mothman like that you would see yourself in his in his eyes all right so that is all for the the abominable book club box oh wait no it's not how could I forget let's see what we got for our mystery book Oh my gosh, I think mean, this is the third month in a row I've gotten a Dean Koontz book, and this is By the Light of the Moon. Uh, when Dylan O'Connor, together with his autistic brother Shepard, pulls into a motel off the interstate highway, all he wants is a good night's sleep. Yet within the hour, he finds himself bound, gagged, and being injected with a mysterious fluid by a lunatic doctor who claims Dylan could be the carrier of his life's work. Comedian Jillian Jackson is midway through a tour of seedy venues accompanied by her pet pot plant named Fred, but her plans for stardom are dramatically altered when she too falls victim to the, ex the eccentric scientist. The doctor warns his victims that he is being pursued and that they are two now targets. If they are caught, they will be killed. Both are skeptical. But before long, they are beginning to wonder if the lunatic doctor wasn't quite so mad after all. All right, out of the the Dean Koontz books I've gotten, this one sounds the most interesting to me, but three in a row, at least mine doesn't have the full size picture of him on the back like someone else did. All right, so that was the Abominable Book Club box. And now let's open our Twisted Retreat for February. We're back to having these branded boxes. Open it up. Oh, oh. We have our spoiler card that I will try not to forget to reference. And we have quite a few things here right off the bat. The first one looks like it is coffee. Twisted Retreat, revive me. Coffee to save your soul. All right, next up we have a Fiction Bath Co. Dracula. All right, so this is Dracula. Um, handcrafted bu bubble elixir, black cherry, plum, and merlot. I have never been disappointed with an item from Fiction Bath Co. That smells good, but it is definitely like a deeper, like plum scent. Dracula makes sense. It's a pretty dark scent. All right, next up I have got, it looks like a set of silverware. I've gotten quite a few sets of silverware from these boxes, but this actually has a lot of pieces. Let me open them up and show you. So each one has, I don't know if you can see like this engraving, which is actually quite pretty. And so we have a, t a teaspoon. This seems like a very short handled spoon. Maybe it's for stirring coffee or tea. I'm not sure because then the next spoon is like a giant I would consider like a serving size spoon. I don't use these big spoons for like eating. And then I have two forks and a knife. I like that these are not plated in anything. Like a lot of them have like a gold or a color to them. I just like regular silver silverware. But the engraving is nice. I'm not sure what this fandom will be, so hopefully we can find out. Next we have this little... I 
okay. So this looks like something I would have to attach to my wall and put a candle in, which I could already tell you I'm not gonna do that. Um, but it's just like a kind of like iron looking old school candle holder. Um, that seems pretty dangerous. I wouldn't have an open flame just off hanging off the wall. But that is that. Then we have like two boxes. One of them is probably our candle. So I'm gonna open that one up. So I feel like we've gotten a lot of candles that look exactly like this. This is their style candles that they've been doing, but this is another black candle. It's usually, oh, it says Sleepy Hollow. Oh yeah. So you're just in time to have your head cut off. Always these seem to be pretty lightly scented and they never tell us what the scents are. This one seems kind of dark like that um, Dracula bubble bath. So this does kind of seem plummy. Actually, I like this one. All right, so we have this big box and the book. Oh, and our tarot card. So I'll show you the tarot card. It's gonna match the, the candle. Okay, so we have, oh yeah, I forgot about this. I think they spoiled this. They told us that this was gonna be included. This is one of those ceramic pots. Uh, so it looks like a book. And it says Twisted Retreat, and I like the spookiness of the side there. It's kind of covered in all this stuff. So I really do like the look of this one. I have another one currently on my shelf that I just put bookmarks in, and then when I need a bookmark, I just pull one out of there. Um, they could be used for pens. They could be used for anything. All right, we have, oh, one small item in our book. Next up, we have a pin. This is really cute. Let me take it out of here so you can see. So we have a stack of books there. We have the skull and candles. And it looks like it says Carrie, Frankenstein, The Haunting of Hill House, Dracula, and the bottom one just says Poe. I like that one. That is a really pretty pin. And lastly, we have our book, which I did kind of see. Um, it's Claw Heart Mountain by David Oppegaard. I'm going to take it out so we can see it fully. So I did say I wanted to read a Twisted Retreat book before I got my next box, and I did do that. Probably was to my benefit that this box was late because I did finish Taxidermist Lover sometime last week. Uh, so I did get to read one, and I will. it's actually um, in a vlog that I will post below. But this is Claw Heart. We've got some pretty cool looking edges there. They have been doing a really great job at um, making these books special editions. Check out that. We've got some slashes on the back and then we've got some spooky woods like end papers there. I'm guessing this is a digital si signature because it is so perfect. <laughs> And then there's even more pages in here. So what's this one about? It says, imagine you're on your way to a remote mountain cabin with your friends. Upon arrival, you discover an abandoned armored van with $15 million on board. Yes, please. Would you take the money? Nova and her friends answer with a resounding yes. Perhaps their answer would have been different had they known that a professional killer was already tracking down the money or that the legendary creature known as the Wraith roams the mountain ravenous with hunger. Thinking they are safe and anonymous, Nova and her friends divvy up the stolen cash, unaware of who or what is after them, unaware that soon they will be fighting for their lives. This one sounds fun. I think this one would be a good camping, um, like summertime read or even in the fall. And that is gorgeous. So I will take a look at the spoiler card just to see what I missed for the fandoms. So our book shaped vase was just vampire themed. Our set of utensils also says vampire themed. 
elegant gothic ten <clears throat> elegant gothic utensils will make the perfect touch for something dark in your kitchen i think it's a nice design that isn't overly bookish in any way so it doesn't stand out in like a, a strange way rustic candle holder there's three possible candle holder options which one did you get each candle holder looks like it was plucked from an old haunted house so i got one that goes on the wall um maybe some people got one that stands like on their desk or something i probably would be more likely to use that the enamel pin is just a spooky stack of books oh the um elixir even though it says dracula is from Dowry of Blood, which I read in February and it was my favorite book of the month. No, I read it in January. It was my favorite book of the month. Um, Sleepy Hollow Candle and Tarot Card. Yeah, it doesn't say what the scent is. I wish that they'd put the notes on the candle or at least in the description. Um, and here is what... Oh, I like the cover of the original as well. I mean, they're both good in their own way. So this is the original book cover and then the book cover that we got. So that, oh, and then our March sneak peek, which I won't be getting until May is Coven. It says a dark fantasy horror book that's wickedly witchy, which I do like, which I do like. A huge fabric item, a fun snack, the next tarot card, and there, there's our spoiler. All right, so that is what we have for now. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay spooky.